Hey everybody, it's Reese and Valisa, and guess what today is? It is Flirty Fridays. It is Flirty Fridays. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is our second Flirty Friday. Yay. Last week we had our uh, Valentine's Day edition. And Valentine's we... Day weekend edition. Yeah, <laughs> and last week, where were we, babe, last week? We were in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, I went up to Charlotte, one of our favorite cities, and today for our second Flirty Friday. Friday. We're in our probably our our next favorite city. Well, here in North Carolina. In North Carolina. <laughs> well, we just gave it away. We're in North Carolina. Yeah, we're, we're in North the Carolina. mountains. Asheville. Asheville. We love Asheville. We yeah. actually came here during the Christmas time to the um, season to the Biltmore. Yeah. And it was beautiful. Yeah. We got to see the Christmas lights. We got to tour the home, the largest home, private home yeah. in the country. And we had at a least blast. it was at the turn of the 20th century. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of fun. Brought yeah. the kids and the whole thing. Even brought the dog. We, we brought had... the dog. And he was a superstar, <laughs> Mr. Barnabas. Yeah. We had a great time. So yeah. we decided we were going to come back again and spend a little time time up here so we're at our hotel and we just um, came downstairs to a little quiet spot we're right yeah. down in the spa area See? look at that the pool in the back in the back Somebody's and it's just splashing and kicking around water yeah so we might explore that a little later get in there a little later <laughs> but listen we wanted to jump into um, our thoughts about date ideas date yeah. day or date nights we for... were thinking about this because for us we want to go ahead and reinvent our love life yeah you know and in order to do that we have to get creative yeah and throw it back to those courtship and dating days because you remember back when you were first dating mm -hmm. how much fun how creative you guys were yes. we had some amazing dates we really did do you remember um we had a book Yes. And the book had 200 and I don't know. Like 276? It was 276, 276 questions. questions. Mm -hmm. And it was called Lies at the Altar Lies by Dr. Altar. Robin Smith. Good book. Y'all should pick it up. It was a really good book. Mm -hmm. And actually, Reese introduced that book to me. I think she was a guest on Oprah Winfrey. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so this is a woman who had been married before. So she this was her second marriage. Yeah. And she wanted to make sure that her second marriage did not have the same experience yeah. as her first. So she devised or she developed two 276 questions mm -hmm. to ask your partner before you get married. Yeah. And so Reese decided he was going to ask me all of those questions. And I'm no, like, you really? asked me some too. I mean, most of them too. We answered them together. They introduced the book to me. Yeah. And together, over the next like six to eight months. Yeah, we took the book we almost took everywhere with us. That book everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it was chopped up into sections. It was divided into section mm -hmm. sections like financial. Um, spiritual, spiritual, love career, life, career, children, children mm -hmm. parents, in-laws. Yep. And so literally every question she could think of, she put it into this book. Yeah. And you can actually Google it and come up with that question list. Right. Um, and it's called 276 or 78 questions to, questions ask, before you marry. to ask before you marry. So but go ahead and thought, look it up. But we thought, mm -hmm. even though we are all obviously all married now, or we most are. of us are married, but Belisa and I obviously got married. Um, but we thought just that idea of still staying curious yeah. and still asking questions and getting into each other's minds and yeah, emotional world. <laughs> yeah, like you used to ask all these questions because yeah. you really wanted to get to know each other when you yeah. were courting and dating. And so it felt good to, to have that discover each other. and discover. Mm -hmm. and, and really feels good to actually learn more about your partner, learn their thoughts, yeah. what they're thinking, yeah. how we can please them, yeah. you know? So we say, well, why don't we try doing that more often? Right. You know, because we don't get a chance to sit down and say, well, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Right yeah. now, what are you thinking? What do you think? What we do don't you get like? too much what we call GFT, grown folks time. Mm, so we're taking I some like GFT. some GFT tonight, grown folks. We time. are taking grown folks time. So listen, we brought with us. Yes our little card deck called Our Moments. You guys right. can pick this up on Amazon. Mm -hmm. There are so many different types of cards out there that are like great conversation connection, starters. Conversation connection. starters. And this is really a great deck. Lisa and I really enjoy this one. And yeah. so we just wanted to show you a couple of examples. But Simple this is a, questions. Yeah, just, and by the way, we do not, you know, um, endorse this product. Yeah, we don't have, we don't get nothing. <laughs> we bought it just like you would off yeah. of Amazon. And also have the family edition. That's right. how we discovered it. We mm -hmm. said, oh, there's a couples edition. Yep. So we ordered it. And so we've never gone through this deck. So we're going to answer a few questions in front of you guys. If yes. you just bear with us. Some good so you're going to be a part too. of our flir Flirty Friday. Flirty Friday. I can't say that. Flirty, Flirty Friday. Flirty Friday. Yes, I'm yeah. going to make sure I enunciate. Yeah, that's right. So, so I'm going to ask with... you a question and then... Have a kiss first. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll let y'all see. I'm going to make sure you got... Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Let's go. So flirty. the first question for Flirty Friday would what be, you got there? if you could master any instrument on earth, what would it be? Oh, that's easy. That's easy. Bass guitar. Bass guitar. Why? Um, I remember when I was a little kid, my cousins, um, they were my second cousins, so they were much older. Mm -hmm. They were my dad's first cousins. I know cousins. exactly who you're talking about. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they were amazing. They were an amazing yeah. band. And my, uh, my cousin Arturo mm -hmm. was and is an amazing bass player. And I just fell in love. I, I never learned how to play. I took a couple of lessons here and there, mm -hmm. but I still love the bass guitar. Mm -hmm. It is the sexiest. Ap the, sax the saxophone I did take. Yeah. I did actually play the saxophone. I played the clarinet. Quite a and the flute. But if I had to pick one today, it would definitely be the bass guitar. Oh, that's really interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so for me, it would be a concert piano. Oh. I've always wanted to play the piano Tip and perform. The and absolutely so. To me, I that's see, a sexy instrument. I can see you instrument. doing that with your and little just, flowing dress. Yes. Sitting down at the maybe piano. Maybe have me some Alicia Keys braids or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I just have this vision of the, the piano just really, you know. That's right. So the next. The next question. What you got? What's your idea of the perfect date? Ooh, what's my idea? There's so many, and we've had some great dates. We have had some awesome dates. Before we got married and even after. Mm -hmm. But if I had to pick, um, my perfect date would be, first of all, the perfect setting. Mm -hmm. The perfect setting for me, and I think for us, is the beach. The beach, hands down. Absolutely love the beach. Love the beach. So, it's an energy when you connect to, to nature. Yeah, so you for me, feet in the ground. So for me, it would be a picture perfect beach day, mm -hmm. um, probably around the 80s, mid 80s, mm -hmm. not too, too hot. Not too hot, no flies, no yep. biting flies, yep. no seaweed in the water. Perfect, perfect <laughs> uh, day for the beach, um, blue sky. Breeze. Nice, nice gentle breeze yeah. um that 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 suntan mm -hmm. oil smell in the air you know it gives Sounds you that good. nice smell and we and just, last year we did a beach tour we yeah. were all over georgia mm -hmm. and we were all in florida yeah. we had to get out because covid had us stuck. locked down locked down so we had to get out yeah but a perfect date would be just a to me a simple picnic you know maybe okay. a, just a, a bottle of wine with mm -hmm. some grapes and cheese and yes. salads. Remember we had that, that so really nice... So Reese did take me on a picnic yes. in the Botanical Gardens of... What, what, what city was that? In, in Connecticut. Hartford. In Hartford, yeah, Connecticut. Back home in Hartford. And mm -hmm. it was so beautiful and so romantic. Elizabeth I want to say Park. that was Elizabeth Park. Okay. Yeah. That was like our fourth date. Mm -hmm. And you really impressed me. Yeah. I mean, he used to break it down, y'all. He was so romantic in the beginning. and She said used to. Like, well, I'm not here's romantic the thing. Anymore. We hit a rut. Yeah. We hit a rut where I would say for a good three or four years, we were not doing those things. The, the babies were yeah. younger. The business was just starting. Mm -hmm. The bills. Life. <laughs> we didn't even know how to get creative because we just don't have the money to do certain things. You're like, I just don't want to do anything. Yeah. But then we had to really take back control that's and be right. intentional. And that's what we yeah. really and put us like, first. Yeah, encourage you guys to do the same that's thing. Exactly You've right. got to make the time because as we said last week during our uh, first fruits uh, live Sunday, yeah. you you won't get the time unless you make the you time have and to you put take it the on time. The schedule. That's right. Put it aside, put you first mm -hmm. and making sure that you follow through. That's right. The action plan. So that would be my my perfect date mm -hmm. on the beach, perfect beach day blanket suntan oil mm -hmm. some nice white Sounds wine good. You're gonna have grapes to plan and that. cheese that's Correct. right and just a light mm -hmm. salad mexico, with maybe a little salmon <laughs> mexico would be great yes. or bermuda bermuda Aruba. or turks and caicos is yes. actually what i'm thinking yeah with some little coconut drinks or something. yeah nice perfect date okay so belisa what about you so my perfect date to, um, believe it or not, would be dancing. Yes. I, this, this guy right here, he can dance. I do a little something. Some of y'all old heads, y'all remember Danny Terrio? That's what his oh friends used to call he him. Oh my goodness, called me Danny Terrio. <laughs> you started calling me that. No, they were telling me, this guy, he can really dance. And yeah. so our first date was, dancing date was at Melissa and Les's wedding. Yes. And I could mm -hmm. not believe how he showed me out on the dance floor, y'all. I <laughs> thought I could, you know, carry two in, you know, dance a little to the two-step. This dude, he could skate and he could dance, y'all. She thought she was going to leave me in the dust. Let me tell you something. So anyway, yeah, I really want to go dancing. I want Love to it. go. It doesn't have to be no sweaty, be disgusting club. I want it to be a nice, 
upscale, you know, nice either salsa merengue or Live some R&B old school, mm -hmm. like just things that we used to dance to in the 90s. Or line dancing. Line dancing would we be nice too. We love dancing. line dancing. Yeah. So that would be like my perfect day or like doing a little karaoke. I mm -hmm. love karaoke, y'all. So that would be my perfect day. I love it. Let's just do dancing. both of them. So now we got two perfect days to plan. We got to do it. We got to put right. it on the calendar. All right. So, so what's next? This is a good one. Can mm -hmm. you all see this? What's the best thing you learned from your mother? What's the, the best, best thing, thing I learned from, from my mother? mother? So Rona for May, me, Veronica. Veronica May, yes. she was her work ethic. Mm. I would say my mother's work ethic. I yeah. have grown up watching my mother work. General Motors on the, on the um, plant. She was mm. in the military. She owned a beauty supply store. My mother stayed busy. She kept a clean mm -hmm. house. She was regal. She was beautiful. She was articulate. Mm -hmm. And she was very, like she took her time. She talked very steady. Mm -hmm. And so that I would say her work ethic. Yeah. Always working, always scrubbing something, yeah. wiping something down. We were like, mommy, sit super down. Woman. <laughs> she was superwoman, but yeah. sometimes that superwoman, we're gonna have to do a whole nother episode on that superwoman complex. That's right. But I learned my work ethic because I work hard and I play hard. Yeah. Right? So yeah. get it done. That's so right. So that's what I learned from her. What I would say you? the same thing for me. My yeah. mom. Miss Sandra. Yeah. Sandra Kate. <laughs> Sandra Kate. Sandra Kate. Yeah. Um, mommy always had two, three jobs. So, um, took care of them boys. Worked 30 plus years at the U.S. post office. Mm -hmm. Um, sold Amway. I mean, she did with Mary Kay, <laughs> Tupperware, Tupper <laughs> whatever it took. Mama got her grind on. That was, mm -hmm. that was back when, you know, there was, you know, the grind before we even knew what a grind was. Yeah. A side hustle before we really understood what a side hustle. Mama always had. Um, three or four different side hustles going on. So I got that definitely honest from mommy. Yeah, work um, ethic. Working really hard, you know, taking care of your, your family mm -hmm. um, and not making any excuses, you know, getting it done, making mm -hmm. it happen. So we Her had some strong moms. Mommies were very strong women. Yeah, not very perfect, strong women. Not perfect, but, you know, we learned a lot, a lot from them. So you want to um, you wanna do this one or this one? Yeah, uh, that one's better. Yeah, this mm -hmm. one. Let's do this one. So you want to read this one, Belisa? Uh, name an activity you used to do when you were younger that you don't do anymore but that you'd likely enjoy if you started doing it oh, again okay wow that's a good one that is a good one okay so for me I would say I would definitely say no, no. okay go, there back. we go sorry yeah. about that I would definitely say roller skating mm. because again I used to roller skate I yeah. used to ice skate back in uh New Jersey, Central Jersey. Days. That was a big thing up in New Jersey, Absolutely. ice skating. And I really thought I could skate until I met Reese. This boy, he's got moves, y'all. You gotta, you gotta show him how you skate. I got a few moves gotta, still left. He really does skate well. But I really wanna, I don't wanna break no bones now. I yeah. just wanna go yeah. on a, have fun and have my husband twirling me around. And our first, very first real, real date was ice skating. ice skating he took me ice skating mm -hmm. and so i would love to go ice skating again not, yeah. maybe not ice roller skating roller skating, is roller yeah. skating. i definitely agree and dancing with that. on a skate so Absolutely. that would be really wonderful how yeah. about you I, I, I was gonna say the same thing actually yeah, roller skating or ice skating yeah yeah see, we be, yeah. still have so much in common still. yeah we used to go to um uh, uh, on Wheels was the name of the local uh, roller skating ring back. That was Skate 9 on U.S. Highway 9. Yeah, back in the day <laughs> when I was coming up in, in Norwalk, Connecticut. So On Wheels was the spot every Friday night with Ooh. the live DJ and the music. And I know y'all were getting I, down those where I honed, tunes. That's where I honed all my moves out there. So. Rock, skate. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, those Bounce. were the days. So I would say if I had to pick one... Uh, that would be it. I, yeah. I really enjoyed it. We, we, I think we had something with the boys, one of the boys' birthdays or something a few years ago. Yeah. And we had a little oh, yeah, bit of roller, we did. Sk we roller did. skating. I have yeah. that on video too. Yeah, we had fun. Yeah. So we better wrap up. Yeah. We just wanted to come to you guys to show you kind of what this looks like. Yes. A conversation. This literally, what was it, like seven, eight minutes that yeah. we sat here and we actually talked and shared this time with hung you guys. Out. Yep. And hung out together. Now we're going to go get some dinner. Yeah. Some din din here in Asheville. That's right. Enjoy and we just 
we evening. discovered more about ourselves as, as our later yeah. years self. So. Yeah, our and some things, selves. you know, kind of light and, and just nice to learn about each other. And then some things will be a little bit deeper. Yeah, and, there's some you know, deep things in here too. We didn't choose those. Yeah, you know, not today. We want to get into that with y'all. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us on... Um, Flirty Fridays. Fridays. And so we want to uh, welcome you guys back um, to our live video coming up on Sunday. So this Sunday, um, it's going to be again our first fruit Sunday, our second edition. Mm -hmm. And so we look forward to seeing you guys on Sunday. Yeah. But this time we're going to be at our normal time at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock on Last Sunday. Last week we did 4 because we didn't want to compete with the, the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. But this so week it's going to be 5 p.m. 5 o'clock. We will see y'all there. All right, guys. Signing Thank you for off from Asheville. Out with us. Asheville, North Carolina. Y'all come check out these mountains. They're electric. There's That's something right. about this mountainous air. That's right. I love it. All right. All right, you guys. Have a blessed weekend and enjoy one another. That's Connection right. Connection time. Let's go. Enjoy your dates. <laughs>